everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Tunic. This is the adorable little Zelda-like that I played the demo for a bit ago, where you play as a little fox. And it's adorable, and that's basically all I know about it, so let's go ahead and hop into a new game. Ignore continue, I accidentally pressed new game earlier, and I just closed it <laughs> immediately, so I don't even know how it has a save file there. Alright, but this looks like the area we started the demo in, so... I do remember at least that little bit. But yeah, I really, really wanted to play this game, and I know I have a lot of other series going on right now. I expected them to end a bit sooner, but I needed to play this. You play as a little fox. How can I not? Hello? Okay, nothing to do there yet. So I found my dodge roll. So now we can yet our way all the way to Hyrule Castletown. Okay, I can't read that. So there is a language we're not familiar with going on here. Does it just drop me in? Because, boy, I'm really excited if it just drops me in. I don't really remember much about the demo. So... Is this my sword? Is dangerous to go alone? It's a Deku stick. LB. Uh-huh. And then we can equip it to... You know, whatever. Whatever we please. Alright, I got a stick. And now I am collecting the money. So I probably can't cut grass with my... Nope. Can't cut grass with my stick. Can't swing it that hard. Not that sharp of a stick. So, yeah. There's nothing to do there. I see that little shiny down there. I wouldn't mind getting to that. Apparently I can't go through there. And yeah, I can't read the, like, language yet. <clears throat> I wonder if it's going to be like... Um, Albed was in Final Fantasy X, where you kind of get little compendiums over time that reveal one letter to you. And then you slowly translate things. I really liked that system. I wish more games did that. Hello. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, we can swing fast. This, uh, stick that I have is actually quite powerful. I'm a powerful little fox. Hero's Grave. Oh. Okay, well, wait, I, I can read that sign. Alright. Music is pretty chill and transcendent <clears throat> so far. It sounds like a chill step playlist or just chill music. It's relaxing beats to study to, whatever that thing is with the little anime girl. Okay, there was some treasures over there. Do I have, like, a map or anything yet? No, uh, I don't see it. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here, as best as I can. I always say that, and then I miss stuff anyway, so... Ooh, you're bigger. Okay, and you you don't get stunned by my attacks. Okay, good to know. I do have to actually dodge you. There we are. Okay, you little doofuses get hit stunned, so... Boom. Okay. Town. And then other things that I don't know. Or maybe it's like you translate different words, because some of it is readable to me and some of it isn't, so... That surprises me. Whatever. Let us continue. Yeah, I've been waiting on this for a very, very long time. I love little isometric Zelda-likes. I was always the biggest fan of, like, 2D Zelda games. The 3D ones are very good as well, don't get me wrong, but... I really liked, like, Link's Awakening and stuff like that. Uh, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Did I just... Did I just play the sun song? I just played the sun song, I think. Or was that like, saving the game? Possibly. My first dungeon? By the power of RGB. Okay, where am I? I'm in like, the spirit world. I'm translucent now. Alright, well... Yeah, definitely the music and soundtrack and everything definitely just... I could, I could just lay in bed and vibe to this music. Not what I expected the soundtrack to be, but I'm definitely here for it. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Fez. Yeah. Okay, what is this? Hey? Okay, I was wondering if I hit you or just activate you. 
Okay, apparently I just activate you. Kabloosh. Is that all I needed to do? Apparently. Whoop, the door pushed me because I was standing right against it. That's funny. Uh, oh, I can walk on it. Oh my god, we're in the Crystal Caverns. Okay. I was like, the bridge ends here. What am I doing? Oh, I don't even have to walk on that. Okay, I'm just walking in general. On air. To this chess piece or a wizard? I think it's a wizard. See, like a pointy hat. Oh no, that is a that is a fox creature. That was not a pointy hat. Is that you, Mom? I'm sorry, Mom. The forces of RGB won't let me have you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I do wonder who that is. I have to imagine it's like my mom or some somebody related to me. They also look like a fox, so... I can't do that again, right? Sealed forever. Okay. <laughs> Sealed forever. That is final. We are not going in that place again. Okay, this is a shortcut I can probably open up once I get- Ooh, get some things. Yeah, sure, I want to do whatever that is. I'm sure it means, like, pick up or something. Ooh, a telescope. Hello. Ah, oh, that allows me to see down there. Yeah, what are the glowy fragments, I wonder? We got little origami slash polygonal creatures, too. I really like the- the muted- Is that, is that the correct term? Like, the muted polygonal look of this? I, I'm sorry, I'm not an artist. I'm very bad at describing terms to describe the things I'm looking at. But, I don't know, it's... The colors seem... I wouldn't say dull. Like, they, they do seem muted. And the soundtrack is just very chill, and everything's very polygonal and pretty. I like the polygonal look. I think it's a cute one. Alright, so yeah, this is the door that was back here that we need to open. I am worried I don't have a map yet. Maybe we'll get one soon. Open door? I guess that means. I love our adorable little character. Ooh. What are you? Sure. That could say, like, die in a hellfire and I wouldn't even know. Beginning your adventure. Ringing the east bell. East forest, hero's grave, guard captain. Ringing the west bell. Flooded well, dark tomb, west garden. And... Yeah, in a far-off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. Okay. The game screen. I don't know what these things mean because I can't read them. Oh, that's... hilarious. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Oh. So if we're out of stamina and we're in that, like, we're breathing hard state, we take more damage. That's an interesting mechanic. Not one that I've really seen before. Readied equipment, magic potion, focus preview. So that's our Z targeting. Uh, health points, stamina points, prize treasure. Yeah, we of course can't can't read what we are or what those little squares we saw were yet. Well, this is neat. We like pick up manuals for the game in game. That's kind of cool. I really like the art of it and everything. It, it harkens back to the days when I used to read, like, strategy guides and spend the entire time coming home from the, uh, you know, blockbuster or what have you. Uh, I would read, like, the game manual in the car to get hyped for playing the game. I'm not saying, like, oh, we, we need to bring game manuals back. Kids these days have it too easy. But I, I just, I liked it. I have nostalgia for those things because I, I did do it so much. So many of my favorite games were just a random chance of me renting it at the uh, game store. It's It was such a good way to try out many, many different things. Okay, I see a treasure chest down there. I also see that pillar has RGB stuff going on. Also a ladder right there. Yeah, I think that's the other thing with this. Um, 
I half expect to uh, be able to like change my perspective like you can in Fez sometimes because I'm like, ooh, it looks like there's something hidden behind there. What's on the other side of that building? But we're getting a very limited view of our world. Stuff I don't understand. I guess the language thing harkens back to Fez as well, since one of the big things about Fez is learning to decipher the language that is in that game. Boom. Give me all your money. I don't even know what I need to use this for yet. Ooh, that was a that was a rupee. Or zenny. You know, for talking Mega Man Legends. I can't like roll off something, no. It will stop me from doing that. Alright, so now we go up here, I guess? No, actually. Oh wait, no, yeah, 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 we can squeeze by here. Is this a dungeon? East Forest. Okay, yeah, this is where that thing said I needed to go. It is straight up called the instruction booklet. That is so cool! Because, like, one of the things about Zelda 1 is, in Zelda 1 in particular, you basically can't even play the game without the instruction booklet, unless you're following a guide online, of course. Because the instruction booklet explains so much about the game. I think the story is even in the instruction booklet because they couldn't include it in the game itself because it was on a NES cartridge. So this harkens back to the idea of that, having like an instruction manual that tells you the story and some of the mechanics of the game and everything. This even seems to tell us what boss we're going to be fighting, the guard captain. Ah, this is so cool. This is definitely a love letter to early 2D Zeldas for sure. I mean, if you couldn't tell by now, now you can really tell. It's very, very adorable. I love it. Okay, so... Little, uh, little thingamajiggy up here. Another one of these. Oop. Okay, so here. Yep, that is the controller I'm using. LT... LB does something. Left stick moves, RB takes a potion, RT is put up my shield. You can put items on X, Y, and B, and A is roll. I don't know what, uh... Okay, that that pulls up my menu, that is right. And, yeah, okay. I'd forgotten what buttons I had pressed so far. Do we have, like, a sprint or something? I guess not. Okay, before I go down there, what's up here? Hello? Yeah, there's that character that we saw. Is my mom God? Ooh, that looks like a rope that we lower later as like a shortcut. Okay, so this may be, just be a shortcut. Cool. Might get uh, completely rid of my stamina bar there. Die, fiend. You stupid choo-choo. Ah. Oh, it was broken. So are these checkpoints, I wonder? I have to assume they're checkpoints. East forest. So... Down the way and over here? Ooh, I can... Oh, no, I can't enter the, enter the well. Maybe we need a rope before we can? See that being a thing? Really surprised I don't have a uh, proper weapon yet. Okay, you guys are a little annoying to deal with. No. You little origami creatures. Stop it. Okay, yeah. Slimes are more my speed. Give me more slimes. Boom, 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 boom. I, I love uh, getting multiple hits on things. There's something just, I don't know, cool about it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you get stunned by my attacks. At least not enough to for me to just to wail on you like I have been. Let's go this way. Uh, guardhouse one, eh? Wonder, is this not where I'm supposed to go? The thing said that the hero's grave was that way, and it has a sword on it. So maybe I should go get a sword first. Before we tackle that. Yeah, maybe. Let's go ahead and hit this up, since I believe these are our save points. I see nothing else that it's doing. At first I thought it was making it night, but... Target lock. God, the art's so adorable. Face your adversaries. Uh, A, focus and evade. R, T, focus and block. And then what's the back page say? 
Understanding stamina potions. <laughs> oh wow, it's teaching us about iframes. So when we have a dust cloud out, that's a cool way to show iframes. When there's a dust cloud under you, you're invincible. That's such a cool way to show that. Huh. That's a very clever visual indicator of when your actual iframes are. Stability. Flinch. Knocked over. You can always attack even without stamina, but you do take more damage. That's really interesting that it teaches you about iframes. It's kind of something I take for granted, but it's not something a lot of people, you know, get. Like, if they haven't played something like this before. The, my main interaction with it was Souls games. Um, but, uh, you know, for people that aren't super familiar with those things, it's a very wild concept to them. Like, you can just, you can roll into the enemy sword and dodge it. It's pretty weird if you think about it. It's something we definitely take for granted. Okay, what is this? Because I notice I can get over here. Hey. Hey. There we go. <laughs> Money! Okay, I don't think I can do anything with that yet. See, what are these weird squares indicate? Because it, it was pointed at in the um, instruction booklet. Maybe they're like fast travel points. Hero's grave this way. Uh-huh. So it is specifically pointing down here. Path to Hero's Grave. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is probably where I want to go, right? Ow. Ow. Ow, oh my god, these things are really messing me up. Because I get greedy. Come on, you're playing Elden Ring. You can't, you can't get greedy in that game, you can't get greedy in this game. Stop it. Um, I'm going to avoid you for now. Do I have to fight you two? I may very well have to fight you two. Well, we're going to have to play it as safe as humanly possible here. Or foxily possible. Okay, we're good. Yeah, not locking on was actually pretty handy there. Okay, so... Oh, this is how I get up here. Gotcha. Can I sneak attack people? Boom! Got you from cover, dork! <laughs> I don't think that actually did anything, but... Uh-huh. Yep. So you guys look like the guard captain that is, um... Listed on my thingy. Is that like a stun meter that they have that's building up at the bottom? It might be. That might be like breaking their guard or breaking their poise or something. Okay. Treasure chest up here... Doesn't seem like I can get to it until I have the ability to, like, chop down... I guess those are trees? I didn't really know what to call them. The other ones obviously look like trees. They look like little pine things, but... The more... I don't know, square ones don't look like it to me. Can I just... Oh, I was hoping I could walk over that without having to go over here. Our characters' little animations and everything are so adorable, too. This game is just feel-good, happy, and wholesome. Definitely enjoying it my little bit of time that I've had. There we go. You're what I wanted. Of course take sword. Look at me. Looks like the falchion from uh, Fire Emblem, actually. So, whoops. All the wrong buttons. Usually the menu isn't uh, LB. That's uh, something I'm going to have to get uh, take. It's going to take some getting used to. So I can chop these things down now. There they... They, they, they look like and act like, I don't know, jello. That's what I think of when I see them. Alright, so there's a treasure up here we can grab. I will of course miss things, but I usually try to be as thorough as I possibly can without, you know, rubbing my face across the entire environment for 30 minutes and wasting everyone's time. There wasn't anything down here, right? It was just that, it was just that. Okay. So this area, done. I am shocked that we don't have a map yet. I think on the Steam page I saw that the game does have a map. So, it's not the end of the world. We'll get one when we get one. How? I see you hiding down there. How? How do you get? Hmm. Yeah, there was a treasure chest like down there. Can I even go here? Okay, yeah, no, this was this was the way I went to actually get in here proper. Hmm. Am I missing something? Get out of the way. 
Stupid tree. Um, yeah, there's not really much going on this path. I mean, I saw a bunch of treasure chests there, but maybe I have to access them from a different screen? Unless it's like right here. Oh, that's how it was. Uh, okay, cool. <gasps> there's hats? Or is that just a mask? Excuse me. Why? What is that? It says I have one. I don't know what that is, so I'm kind of afraid to use it right now. Yeah, especially since it says I have one. I'm not going to use that. I don't want to waste it. Um, what is that? I, I don't understand. Okay, it looks like, yeah, if we take this path here from uh, up there, we should be able to get to something special. I just need to actually get over there, right? Oh, there's some stuff going on there. Uh, hey dorks. Yeah, I think that's the path I need to take to get to that treasure over there. But how do I actually make it? Hmm. Do I have to go in here? Did I ever go in here? Sorry, I'm dumb. I did not go in here. This is Guardhouse 2. Yeah, because I walked past it to focus on getting to the hero's grave. Bomb? I guess. I mean, it's lit with a fuse. I know there was a ladder right there, but... I'm still hung up on this thing. How do I get over there? You can clearly see a path up here on this, like, ledge. Is is there another way to get over there and then you come out at that way, that path? It doesn't look like it. Unless I, I... I can't jump, I don't believe, so... I don't think I could be like, hiya, and get over there. Yeah, I think we do just have to find... the path. Yeah, because we're too low right there. And I specifically do not think the path was... from down there. It looks like we have to access a screen that's over here and then get there that way. Hmm. Alright. Color me confused, video game. You win this round. Well then, how about we go back to that guardhouse one? Okay, well, how do I... Hmm. This is gonna be one of those games where I, uh, yeah, where I see stuff and I'm like, how do I get to it? Barry... Oh, no. Not understanding what any of these things do is going to destroy me. Th this feels like... I feel like this would heal me, right? And I do need HP. Cool. Okay, we know what those do now. And I can hazard a guess what the bomb-looking things do. I don't know what my head does. It looks like a head. Specifically a fox head. Boom, boom. And boom. Okay. None of that, please. Uh, we're good. Very, very dead. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I already murdered all of you. Okay, you, you go down in one hit, though, now that I have a proper blade. So let's just go up here and see what we can do. More stuff over there. God, this game is going to be massive. There's so much going on. Can't find that map soon enough. East Forest. Yeah, here we are. God, it's so much easier to murder now. That I have a real weapon. I know, what a concept. Okay, that is a health potion, straight up. We can just press RB for that. We don't even have to equip it like we did the, like, food. In fact, I wonder if that berry... Excuse me? Uh, oh, okay. I thought this led over here to that. Um, in fact, that berry might be used to, like, craft the potions if we find, like, an apothecary or if we get the ability to make potions on our own. It could be a thing that happens. All right. Back this way. That was Guardhouse 1, and we cleared that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hero's Grave. So, there's a checkpoint right here. Do I want to try and make a little bit more progress this episode? We'll do a teensy bit more. Let's see what's up here, at least. I don't think it would go on too long, right? Haha, I got you in the back. 
I really like that stab. That's our uh, third hit combo. Hello. You have your back turned. You deserve this death. You were unprepared. Okay, yeah, that, that bar is determined. It, it shows you when they're going to be stunned. God, that's something Elden Ring needs bad. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I opened up the way here. Let's see if there's a little there's a little statue savey thing in here. If there is, then I'll end the video off there. Otherwise, I'll walk back to the other one. Oh, this just gets me this. The other thing in Guardhouse 1. And also this door. I didn't know there was a door. Hmm, heart piece? Possibly. Yeah, it's not listed here. Yeah, that must be a heart piece. That must be a heart piece. Yes. Uh... Guard captain? Um... I guess you're the guard captain, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Ow. Potion. Ugh. Chug! Ow. I thought I broke your guard there. Okay, we're good. Guard captain down. Whew. That was sloppy. But I did it. Okay, what does this open? I had to chug my potion there. Okay. There's still stuff back there that I want to see for sure. Is this a new item? Oh, just a health potion? Oh, do they refill? They, they must refill, right? When I, like, rest at one of those statues or something? Because it's listing two right now, and one of them is empty. It wouldn't list it was empty if it was a, you know, a consumable that goes away forever. Anything hiding over here? Doesn't appear to. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and explore the rest of that zone. I'm kind of just looking for whoop, a save point here, so I don't have to walk all the way back to that other one. Okay, that was just the... Ladder leading down there. I was like, where's that ladder? Where does it go? Uh... <gasps> Here! Oh my god! Ring strike! Wow! Okay, we made it all the way around. <laughs> what a cool moment! What a cool shortcut porn moment! Look at that! Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. That feels good every single video game it is in. Always love getting me a good shortcut where you get there and you're like, oh, We're here! Alright, well, I'm gonna go down, like I said, here and save. And we can explore this area some more next time and probably make some progress in the actual story. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tunic, and I'll see you next time.